Hey, what is up you guys? My name is Emily and today I have a story time slash secret sort of thing. Well, I'm gonna get a little bit personal and tell you guys that I have a boyfriend. That's it. That's today's video. See you guys next week. Bye. Wait, what? Yeah, I have a boyfriend. It's not that huge of a deal. It's not about your love life. What do you mean this is the end of this video? Oh, well, I just really wanted to mention that because I'm planning on doing a video with him and like another couple and it's gonna be like a versus kind of thing. And I just really wanted to say that so people know. Really? A couple's video? Hey, at least it's not a boyfriend tag. There's too many of those. True. Really, what else am I supposed to say? Well, did anything unusual or interesting happen in acquiring this love interest? Well, I did keep the relationship a secret from the people who introduced my boyfriend to me so is that interesting what yeah you were there i was there we the same person or didn't i kill you in the last video no remember that was a dream mm, right it hey, well how about if you tell your subscribers about you know the secret that you kept make it more interesting make it a story instead of just like hey i have a boyfriend kind of thing that's that's pretty cheap fine i'll tell the people about the secret prank thing i guess so today i'm gonna Hey, we're wearing the same thing. Oh no, this is a this is a shirt and a skirt. You're wearing the dress version. You're right. Wow. So today, guys, I'm going to tell you what I did to hide my relationship, why I hid it, and how was the coming out with the relationship like. You know these people. Their name are Deisha and Gabriel. I did two videos with them. It's a would you rather kind of challenge thing. And then it was the vlog with them. They were like in part of it. I'll put the two videos in the description. And they're two of my closest friends. So they have been telling me for months. And when I say months, I mean May 2016 they have been telling me about this great guy I always put it off because I wanted my surgery because I just thought it would be weird if I start dating someone and then I'm like um BRB I'm gonna be away for a month getting a new face you know I thought that would be weird so I was always putting it off uh, because of my surgery after the surgery happened like two days after I added this guy on Facebook and we started chatting away and turns out I could totally see me going out with this guy who is exactly my type and we just started dating. Like I told my friends, uh, they shot and Gavian, that I was, hey guys, I'm gonna invite him out to see a movie, see if he wants to go out with me or something. But I didn't tell them I was asking him out on a date because I didn't know if I'm asking him out on a date. I was just like, I wanna hang out with him and see if it's cool, you know? Decided we want a date because we're both pretty cool people. And I tell him, like, yo, we gotta keep this a secret from Gabriel and Deisha. We gotta, we, we gotta. It's gonna be hilarious. And I'm gonna admit, one of the reasons why I brought this up was because you don't know when you're dating, like, the first few days, you don't know if it's actually gonna keep on going, if it's gonna be steady, if it's gonna be regularly and stuff. Uh, you don't know if it's gonna turn into an actual relationship and an actual commitment. I said, let's keep it a secret because I didn't know if it was actually gonna turn into that. Thankfully, it did. I wanted to make sure that I was gonna keep dating this guy before I told my friends like, hey, you know, the ship has sailed. <laughs> but also I thought it would be really fun because my friends know that I'm the kind of person who just says everything immediately. I tell my friends everything, anything that I'm excited for, I I blurted it out immediately and I thought it would be a fun challenge for myself to keep that secret because I suck at secrets and I also thought it would be pretty cool to not tell my friends because they know how I am I always say everything and I just wanted to be unpredictable for once to keep a secret and for them to be totally caught off guard by this decision I made and you know the fact that there's a relationship so we kept it a secret it was really fun in the sense that we did not post anything on Facebook on Snapchat. I could not tweet about it because they shot it has a Twitter. We could not tag each other on posts on Facebook like lol look at this meme. That was not a thing that was possible. I remember one time when Gabriel was like hey I want to hang out this Saturday and Saturday became the day I always uh, went out with my boyfriend Brian. That is his name Brian and I was like ooh yeah, buddy, I have a family thing. I'm so sorry. I, I, I can't make it. I'm, I'm really, I'm really sorry. Turns out that when I said no, he asked Brian, like, hey, buddy, you want to hang out? We're his two best friends after his girlfriend, Deshade. <laughs> like, it's Deshade, me and Brian, and everybody else, basically. So when his two best friends were like, oh, we can't hang out, he was like, how upsetting. Why, why? 
why can't my friends hang out with me? That's sad. Oh well. And he just continued on with his day without thinking twice about it. That day we were actually like going to like dry forests and stuff and I saw a forest fire which was pretty cool like clip here. Holy shit. This is fucking terrifying. <laughs> but nonetheless, it was pretty cool. But besides that, I had to endure so many conversations with Gabriel and Deisha without being able to say anything. Gabriel had been hyping both of us for the other one for like nine months. Nine? June, July. I'm not an idiot, I promise. June, July, <laughs> August, September, October, November, December, January. Oh, eight months. So he'd been hyping us out for eight months. We started dating without telling him and it was pretty hilarious. After we both told him that, oh, the date didn't go well, he started like bullying both of us individually, of course. Started sending me memes like uh, me being the third wheel because I always third wheel. I always, well, used to at least. He would just send me a lot of pictures of being forever alone and being unlikable. Of course, they were a joke, but I was all like, just you wait, buddy. Just you wait until I come out of this closet relationship and you're gonna get it. In other words, he was being the absolute worst. Then I was telling Bryant like, oh, I got the perfect uh, birthday present for Gabriel. I'm gonna get him this awesome zombie Nerf gun thing. And he was like, when's Gabriel's birthday? Oh, it's March 12th. Uh, me and Bryant started dating uh, January 28th. And he's like, okay, how about we come out on his birthday? And I was like, yes, 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 yes. We have to do it for his birthday now. I was like, hey, so I have an idea on how I want this to happen. Um, I just want to kiss in front of him and like, blah, that's it. I just want to <laughs> kiss in front of him and for him to be like, what is going on? And he said that he had actually the same idea. So we were like on the same page. We just wanted to like act normal for a while and then just <laughs> slap it on his face that we're together. As we're approaching the date, I tell a friend of mine uh, the plan and he's like, um, you do realize that Le Chade is a huge person in honesty and she might get angry. And I was like, oh no, oh no, oh no. I did not think of this. I just wanted to trick people. Now I gotta consider that. And so me and Brian decided to tell Le Chade, um three days before we told Gabriel on his birthday. I kept hyping it up for her. I was like, I have a secret I need to tell you, but I need you to be like 100% you know, shut your mouth, you can't tell anyone, especially not Gabriel. And I'm just I'm just gonna show you the video of what happened. You promise you won't tell Gabriel? I won't. Because I'm, I'm gonna tell him El Sal. But what's going on? Are you moving or something? I'm dating Brian. We've been dating since the first day I invited <laughs> You choose to say this how? How? How long you first date? What? <laughs> January 28th. It's March 7th, 8th. <laughs> I can't deal with Tamos right now. She was angry. <laughs> But a good angry. She was mostly just excited that I was actually dating Bryant. And she was mostly excited also about the fact that she's like, wow, you guys pulled a really good one on Gabriel. You guys kept this a secret for a month and a half. This is going on for a month and a half without a word, a peep from us towards Gabriel. For those three days, they shut it was done. She's like, you guys got to tell him now. And we're like, no, we're going to do it on his birthday. I'm going to be really honest with you guys right now. I hate PDA. I feel uncomfortable by it. I hate seeing other people do it. I hate being a part of it because I feel I'm making other people uncomfortable. And it's just not necessary in my opinion. And by PDA, I mean just making out or like being like super over each other and like holding hands a peg it's fine like having your arm around or on the waist that's cool but like kissing i mm, like a peg is fine but kissing and other things like that it makes me uncomfortable so but i decided i was just gonna shove this aside and just 
do the thing in front of Gabriel just so that he would be confused because just telling him was not gonna have the same effect it is the day of telling Gabriel and we are freaking out <laughs> we're like oh my god we've been hyping this up for a month and a half and it is the day that we tell our friends uh, our friend whatever the guy who basically set us up together and I was just really nervous because I was like what if he's like angry angry not happy angry like Daisha so we're, we had been telling ourselves that Gabriel was gonna be like angry like happy angry like you mother effers how dare you guys lie to me and all this stuff the moment is here and I'm just gonna show you a clip of what happened and the whole PDA thing I said it because it's visually evident of how uncomfortable being affectionate in public makes me because I look really uncomfortable like oh no what's going on but it was consensual I promise anyways this is the clip enjoy It took him a while to understand what was going on. It really did. He was completely lost. He was just so distraught and hopefully I get the other clip in here. You okay there? No. What's going on? <laughs> You're getting your food. What's going on? You're getting your food. I'm like, hey, What's going on? Sit here. Sit here, buddy. So remember that time I couldn't hang out with you because I was doing a family thing. Yeah. Was he the family thing? Were you doing him? No. <laughs> we were on a road trip. Oh, you got lost. So wait a minute, you guys didn't post anything on Snapchat? Not Snapchat, not YouTube, not, not, not no Twitter, nothing. How long has this been? A month and a half. Since, uh -huh. the very, since, since the very first day. <laughs> since, uh, remember when the day didn't go well? Maybe. <laughs> Did she know? <laughs> not. Okay. Yeah. Okay. She's known for three days. She knows for like two days. I'm gonna. I told her the day we hung out. Huh? Oh, fuck you. Oh. <laughs> I went to your house. Yeah. Yeah? We agreed not to tell you. Uh-huh. You were being judgmental. You were being judgmental. Like, look, so I heard it went wrong. What, what happened? What? I'm so sorry. I was dying. <laughs> you gotta understand. She told me this week for good measure. Wait a minute. I'm fucking right. What? That means that was right. It's gone. <laughs> it's pretty funny. But at the end of the day, he was just like, I was right. But yeah, I have a boyfriend. Woo! I'm not gonna do the boyfriend tag. I will not. There are too many of those. I might do a boyfriend does my makeup. I'm very curious. I'm just genuinely curious to see what he would do with makeup because he's an artist. So it's like, could he actually do it correctly? I don't know. I'm gonna find out. Maybe I'll do it and not post it unless you guys want that. But I'm definitely going to do a couples video in the sense that I'm gonna have me and my boyfriend, Deshare and Gabriel. It's gonna be verses. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a good video. They're like our parents in a way. It's like you are the couple above us. You made us happen basically. Again, we're very grateful for them for making such a good pairing because their relationship is generally very good and if I may be honest with you guys, I'm pretty a hundred thousand percent sure that this is the best person I've ever dated and really quickly, I just want to do a little throwback to my first video on this channel in which I answer the question, why are you single? Honestly, because nobody's good enough for me. Wow, conceited. Probably just single because my last relationship was such a fail. I'm so done with people right now. Nobody can treat me better than I can treat myself, so here I am. Wait a few months, honey. Wait a few months. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Again, thank you so much for 200 subscribers. I hope you guys keep enjoying my videos. If you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up. Comment down below. If you haven't yet, subscribe for more entertainment and more random ass things. And look forward to that couples video. It's gonna be, I don't know when, maybe in like a month? I don't know. Planning. Anyways, I'll see you guys next week. Bye!